Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss about example of Bayes theorem. And this is the previous examination question. The example is in a bolt factory machines A, B, C manufacturer respectively 25%, 35%, and 40% of the total. Of their output, 5%. 4% and 2% are defective bolts respectively. A bolt is drawn at random from the product and is found to be defective. What are the probabilities that it was manufactured by the machines A, B or C? So given that in a bolt factory machine, the machine names are capital A, capital B and capital C are the machine names and its probabilities are 25%. 35% and 40%. So coming to the solution from the given data, consider the events. Machine A is considered as E1 and machine B is considered as event E2. Machine C is considered as event E3. So therefore, the probability of E1 is equal 25%. 25 by 100 is equal to 1 by 4. And probability of E2 is equal 35%. 35 by 100 is 7 by 20 and probability of event 3 is equal 40% 40, 40 divided by 100 is equal to 2.5 from the given data okay let us consider capital A be the event of drawing a defective bolt event of drawing a defective bolts from the given data of their outputs are 5% 4% and Of their outputs are 5%, 4% and 2%. So now here event A is considered as a drawing a defective bolts. So probability of A by E1 using conditional probability concept. So that output is depends upon the machines A, B, C. So using conditional probability, probability of A by E1 is the probability that the bolt is defective given that given the condition that is manufactured by the machine. So that is product of A by E1 is equal 5%. 5 by 100 is equal to 0 0.05. Now here capital A is the event of drawing a defective bolt. So similarly, probability of A by E2 is 4%. That is 4 by 100 is equal to 0 0.04. And probability of A by E3 is equal to 2%. 2 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.02. A bolt is drawn randomly. The probability that the bolt came from the machine A can be obtained using Bayes theorem. So this is the standard expression, basic expression of the Bayes theorem. Probability of B by A is equal. Probability of B into probability of A by B divided by sigma n is equal to 1 to n. P of B n into P of A by B n. So using this basic expression, now here we can determine probability of E1 E by A, probability of E2 by A, probability of E3 by A. First we can determine P of E1 by A using this expression. P of E1 into P of A by E1 divided by, now here there are three mutually exclusive events. There are three mutually exclusive events. N is equal to 1, 2, 3. So therefore P of E1 into P of A by E1 plus P of E2 into P of A by E2 plus P of E3 into P of A by E3. From the given data, P of E1, P of E2, P of E3 are there. P of A by E1, P of e by, uh, A by E2, P of A by E3 are, are there from the given data. Substitute all the values into this equation. We get P of E1 by A is 0 0.3623 and after substituting, simplifying, RHS term of this equation, finally we get P of E1 by A value is 0 0.3623. Similarly, using Bayes theorem, we can determine P of E2 by A. P of E2 by A is P of E2 into P, uh, P of A by E2 divided by, now here there are three mutually exclusive events, the denominator term is P of E1, P of A by E1 plus P of E2 P of A by E2 plus P of E3, P of A by E3. So this denominator is same as that of the in previous term. That is 
P of E1 by A. And substitute all the values into RHS term of this equation. Finally, we get P of E2 by A is 0.4053. So similarly, P of E3 by A is P of E3 into P of A by E3 divided by P of E1 P of A by E1 plus P of E2 into P of A by E2 plus P of E3 into P of A by E3. So substitute uh, given data values uh, given data values into RHS term of this equation and after that reducing this term finally we get P of E3 by A is 0.2319. So this is the example of the base theorem and this is the previous examination question.